Good morning students. We are learning water resource engineering and hydrology. Today we will start discussing about dams and reservoir. Well, first of all, we will discuss about reservoirs and then we will move on to the dams. So in this lecture, we will discuss about reservoirs type and the purpose of reservoirs. With that also we will discuss about the site selection for the reservoir. So first let's understand what is reservoir. A reservoir is a large artificial lake that is created by constructing a dam across the river. Well, a reservoir is created on upstream side of the dam and it built across a river or a stream to impound the part of the runoff from the catchment that is upstream side of the dam. The flow in a river generally varies considerably during the different period of the year. It may carry little or the no water during some period of the year and it may carry the huge amount of water after the heavy rains in the monsoon. Well, during the period of low flow, it is not possible to meet the water demand of various purposes that is uh, like irrigation or the water supply or the electric power generation. It is essential to create a reservoir or an artificial lake by constructing a dam across the river so that we can match the demand of the water. Well, the stored water in the reservoir is later released during the period of low flows. Thus, the reservoir is effective in removing the variation in demand and availability of water resources. In addition to store the water during the heavy flood, reservoir also reduce the flood damage on the downstream side of the reservoir so it can also be used to control the flood so let's discuss some purpose of the reservoir well the purpose of reservoir is to irrigation to water supply uh, for the public health safety and also uh, the water supply in the industries also the purpose of constructing the reservoirs to generate the electricity also to uh, protect uh, the downstream of the reservoir at the time of flood also it can be used as a flood control also for the erosion and sedimentation control with that uh, some more uh, purpose of reservoir is inland navigation to enhance the fish culture and uh, for some recreation purpose we construct the reservoir now if we talk about the type of reservoirs so mainly we have four different type of reservoir the first one that is the storage reservoir well the storage reservoir is formed by constructing a dam across the river now storage reservoir are constructed to store the water in the rainy season and to release it later when the river flow is low the storage reservoir are primarily used for supply of water for the irrigation or the development of electricity and some domestic and industrial purpose however to some extent, this reservoir also help in moderating the flood and reducing the flood damage to some extent on the downstream side. Storage reservoirs are also called as the conservation reservoirs because they are used to conserve the water. While well, depending upon the purpose served, this reservoir may be designated as the single purpose reservoir or some multi-purpose reservoir. The second, that is the flood control reservoir. Well, a flood control reservoir is constructed for the purpose of a flood control. A flood control reservoir is constructed to protect the area laying on its downstream side from the damages due to floods 
and hence such type of reservoir which is used as the flood protection known as the flood protection reservoir or the flood mitigation reservoir a flood control reservoir is designed to moderate the flood and not to conserve the water a flood control reservoir holds some of the flood waters of a river during the rising flood and release that amount of water gradually at a safe rate when the flood recedes so the flood control reservoir serves only one purpose that is the flood control and hence these are designated as a single purpose reservoir well also there is two sub type of flood control reservoir first that is retarding reservoir a retarding reservoir is the one which is provided with outlets and spillway not controlled by gates in this type of reservoir spillway is provided with a dam at such level so that the flood discharge through its safe capacity for the downstream areas now the retarding reservoir stores a portion of the flood when the flood is rising and release that amount of water it later when the flood recedes okay that means the high flood discharge is retarded and it takes long time for the flood water to flow completely towards the downstream area well the second one that is the detention reservoir well a detention reservoir is the one which is provided with the outlets and the spillway those are controlled by gates and valves now a detention reservoir stores excess water during the flood and release it after the flood in this type of reservoir the spillways with adjustable gates are provided with the dam and so that the flood water may be detained for some times and then that is released according to the situation at the downstream area there is basically no difference between the detention reservoir and the retarding reservoir except that in the retarding reservoir has a larger spillway capacity and the sluiceway capacity to permit the rapid drawdown just before or the after the flood so that is the basic difference between these two otherwise both the reservoirs are same the third that is the distribution reservoir well a distribution reservoir is a small storage reservoir which is used for water supply in cities well a distribution reservoir accounts for the varying rate of water during the day water is continuously pumped into the reservoir at a constant rate and is supplied to the consumers from the reservoir while the distribution reservoir is helpful in permitting the pumps to the work at a uniform rate it also stores water during the period of lean demand and also supplies the same amount of water during the period of high demand now the fourth one that is the multi purpose reservoir this kind of reservoir is constructed to serve more than one purpose that are for the irrigation with that also it can be used uh, in the electricity generation or it may also used for domestic purpose so when a particular reservoir is constructed for more than one purpose is such reservoirs are known as the multi purpose reservoir now the next topic that we need to discuss that is the investigation for reservoir planning when we are planning the reservoir the engineer must need to do few investigation and for that major three investigation has to be done the first one that is engineering surveys while talking about the engineering surveys uh, the topographical map or the contour map has to be constructed 
okay for uh, calculating the area of the dam site also uh, to measure the capacity of the reservoir basin okay now from the contoured map the storage capacity and the water spread area of the reservoir at the various elevations can be determined and also uh, from the contoured map uh, we can measure the area of the particular dam site by using the planning meter so this is the part of engineering survey the next that investigation should be done is the geological survey or geological investigation well the geological investigation of the dam and the reservoir site are required to determine the suitability of the foundation of the dam also for determining the water tightness of the reservoir basin and to determine the location of query sites for construction material well the third investigation that should be done is hydrological survey well the hydrological investigation is very important aspect of reservoir planning the hydrological investigation uh, may be divided into two different parts that the study of runoff pattern of the river at proposed dam site to determine the storage capacity of the reservoir corresponding to a given demand and also the to determine the hydrograph of the worst flood and that is for to determine the spillway capacity and the design of that spillway also so these three are the major investigation that has to be done on that particular site when you are planning to construct a reservoir well the next is selection of site for a reservoir well for that few points uh, we need to keep in mind and also there are a few factors that affect the particular selection for the reservoir so the first that is the suitable dam site must be available where the reservoir is proposed to be constructed that means there should be a proper topography available for constructing the reservoir the next that is the river valley at the site should be narrow so that the length of the dam to be constructed that would be less the third that the surrounding hills which constitute the rim of the reservoir that should be watertight so that there would be very minimum leakage from the reservoir or also we should keep we should take consideration of no leakage from the reservoir so for that we should take the consideration that the surrounding hills should be watertight well the fourth that is the reservoir basin should be also watertight the fifth is that the site should be such that as far as possible minimum land and property is submerged in the reservoir the sixth that the site should be such that it avoids water from those tributaries which carry unusually high content of sediment also the site must be such that it should have adequate reservoir capacity so that the maximum amount of water can be stored the next factor that is the quality of water so the quality of water that stored in the reservoir must be satisfactory for its intended use also the reservoir site should be such that there are no objectionable minerals and salt should be present in the soil and rocks at particular site the reservoir site should be such that a deep reservoir should be formed and the site should be such that the cost that is associated uh, with the works such as uh, roads or the rails or any uh, housing colonies for workers those are not so much expensive okay so these are 11 factors or we can say the 11 points that should be kept in mind 
while selecting the site for the reservoir okay this is all for today's lecture thank you so much students for your kind attention we'll see you in the next lecture thank you